Hey friends, happy Tuesday. It has been a while since I've done an IGTV and for that I apologize. I have been working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes and I'm still trying to figure out how to also maintain my social media accounts, which is driving me crazy as a type three that I cannot do it all. But I guess it's all good for my growth. Anyways, this video is to explain and give some color commentary to my latest post series that I did on how each number finds freedom. And I think I'm gonna start doing this after every series because on Instagram, I'm trying to make these graphics and I want them to be short and succinct and just hit the mark and be really, you know, few words, make sense, hit each type and wrap it all up with a nice little bow. But sometimes there's more that needs to be said and sometimes it can't just be wrapped up in a bow. So I will try not to ramble, but I want to give some commentary to what freedom looks like for each type series. Now this series, whenever I talk about what growth or freedom looks like for numbers, people of that number often tell me, oh my gosh, never. Oh, I could never do that. That is just the worst thing I could possibly think of. And, <laughs> or it just rubs them the wrong way. Or they're just like, oh. Because most Enneagram stuff kind of talks to how we are in our type, like different types at a restaurant, what we would be doing, or different types at a Christmas party, what we would be doing. And it speaks to how our type operates in our instinct as just our gut instinct to do. And so everyone feels so seen and so understood. So whenever I try to talk about how we would be in growth or doing a growth activity or what freedom would look like for our type, I'm actually trying to rub the other way. And it definitely rubs people the wrong way, which is good. That's my intention. <laughs> but I do it out of love. And here's what I mean by that. In order for us to find freedom in our type and not be in bondage to our instincts, because our instincts only serve us up to a certain point. At a certain point, I am not going to feel fulfilled and free in my type threeness by just achieving all the things. The only way I can finally feel free is to sit in my intrinsic worth, even if I'm not achieving all the things. And of course that makes my ego and myself just go bananas. But if I really sit with that thought, it kind of does feel like a fresh air and it kind of does feel like freedom. Like what would it even be like to feel completely worthy even if I'm not achieving things or I'm not productive all the time? What would that feel like? That would mean I can use the way that I'm made. I can use my ability to get things done and understand structures and problem solve and, and make a plan and set goals. I could use all of that without it defining me and without being crushed if it's not always in place, if it's not always being utilized. That is the ultimate goal, my friends. The ultimate goal is to celebrate the best parts of us without it deteriorating into a compulsion without it deteriorating into something that defines us or that we must have or must do in order to feel whole and full and satisfied. So when I say a type two in freedom can love freely and not feel insecure about their standing in the world when they're forgotten about or when they're not treated well, every two would just be like, no, like that would just, I can't, I can't, but you can, it's just going to take some growth and just imagine how free you would feel if something happens, someone forgets to invite you, something falls through the cracks, you're not appreciated the way you might want to be. And you're still like, I'm okay. I'm secure in my love and I can keep on loving and I can keep on trucking and I can keep on putting my gift out into the world and it's not dependent on and it's not defined by how much other people love me. Just think of how free that type two would feel and would be and that really is that highest level of, I don't wanna say enlightenment 
because I feel like that's a little bit vague. Like, what does that even mean? But just that highest level of operating in our type without being in bondage to our type. That's the goal. So as you go back, if you want to go back and reread what each type in freedom looks like, obviously your type, when you read it, you're going to be like, <gasps> you're going to, some people even said like, oh, this gives me anxiety. This gives me heartburn. This makes me like, yeah, because in our type, that's not our response. When I'm not productive, oh, I want to hustle more. Rest in my intrinsic worth? You must be crazy. But that's what freedom looks like. Where I can rest in my intrinsic worth without having to be productive all the time. So this is going to rub you the wrong way. That's my intention. Sit with it for a minute and just imagine. Just imagine what it would even feel like to be, not be in bondage to your type's compulsions and to be able to use the best parts of yourself without that being the worst part of yourself. Just imagine. <laughs>